Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. Hey, what's going on, Kiss Army? Welcome back to another episode of We Are One, where we have another opportunity to shout it out loud. What we're going to be taking a look at today is a 12-year-old interview from Julian Gill that was dug up that shows that Peter Chris actually wrote a song with Tommy Thayer, despite all of the bashing that Peter has done to the current lineup of KISS over the years. He did end up writing a song during the Second Coming reunion Psycho Circus farewell era of KISS. So we're going to be taking a look at that today. So this was an interview done 12 years ago by Julian Gill of the great KISS FAQ podcast and website, which I highly suggest everybody goes and listen to. It is, in my opinion, by far the best podcast um, all for all things KISS, and it's a great way to just kick back and relax. Uh, no, they did not tell me to say that. I have never met uh, any of them, but beyond that, I just enjoy the show. So what we're going to be taking a look at here is this interview that Julian had with Peter that talks about the fact that Peter actually wrote a song with Tommy Thayer for the Psycho Circus album, and it apparently ended up getting rejected, as we know, because Paul ended up writing the song that Peter sang. So, back in 96, KISS announced their reunion tour with the band's four original lineup. The 1996 and 97 Alive Worldwide tour turned out to be a huge success, and this led to the reunited KISS releasing a studio album in 98 titled Psycho Circus. Now, obviously, we know... For a, for a diehard KISS fan, so if you're a diehard KISS fan, you probably watch this channel, which means you know that Tommy had to essentially reteach Ace and Peter on how to play a lot of their parts from the original era of KISS. Although it was the first record with the original KISS lineup since 1979's Dynasty, quote-unquote, Peter and Ace musical contributions in Psycho Circus were very minimal, much like Peter's contributions on Dynasty, where he really only contributed Dirty Livin'. The images are featured on the album prominently, but future KISS member Tommy Thayer and Bruce Kulick, as well as session musician Kevin Valentine on drums, handled most of their duties. Peter did play drums on Into the Void, but he did have one lead vocal on I Finally Found My Way and a co-vocal, as all four of them did, on You Wanted the Best. In a 2010 interview with Julian Gill, Peter revealed that his song Hope was rejected from Psycho Circus. He also submitted, submitted another song that got rejected, and moreover, Peter described the album in one word, fiasco. Julian asked Peter the following, Is it correct that Hope was rejected from Psycho Circus? To which Peter responded, yes. To which Julian asked, what other material did you submit for that album? that was rejected, to which Peter says, Tommy and I wrote a song for Psycho Circus, which I find to be absolutely insane. Tommy wrote a song with Peter for Psycho Circus. Now that would never have probably been, you know, thought of, but apparently it was. So that is very interesting. And this is the only time in this entire interview that Peter mentions Tommy's name so quite interesting there uh, and then the last question that Peter was asked was to sum up what Psycho Circus meant to you to which Peter responded a fiasco so Peter ended up writing a song with Tommy Thayer for Psycho Circus and I would love to see somebody ask Tommy about that to hopefully get some more details as Peter seems to be very short on his responses here. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Um, does If anybody knows what song that was, please write that in the comments. I would be very interested to dig up a demo for that. But remember, God gave rock and roll to you and God bless you.